who's tired of this yet? You tired of this yet? I show up here every week thinking y'all gonna get tired of this pretty soon. I'm not tired of it, so I'm gonna keep this love fest going. I appreciate you all so much. What's going on guys, it's your boy Big Hero Chris back at you with another one. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, hit me up on Twitter, ring the notification bell, leave some comments in the comment section. And I'm gonna definitely need your comments for this one because the topic of today's video is one Phil Brooks, better known to us all as CM Punk. And let's just get into it man, so... CM Punk left wrestling in 2014. Uh, took a little bit of a time, took some time off. Uh, tried his hand at UFC, that didn't really work out too well for him. Years go by, years go by, you hear CM Punk chants. All you hear is CM Punk, CM Punk, CM Punk chants at wrestling events, during segments, whether it be Raw, SmackDown, whatever. And then 2021 rolls around and we get something that I know a lot of people weren't expecting, myself included, and that was CM Punk returning to the world of wrestling. And on top of that, he made, he's makes his return in AEW. And it was probably one of the biggest pops ever. You had grown men crying, you had people just screaming and chanting and carrying on. Like It was just... Uh, something I haven't seen in wrestling in a long time, especially for CM Punk, just to, just to make his return in Chicago at AEW, it was pretty cool. So with that, you were thinking, all right, so we got CM Punk and AEW, things are about to pick up. You got all these new signings coming through, but the main one is CM Punk, and I can't wait to see what he does. And pretty much what he what he's done so far is he he's um cut some promos. Wrestle Darby Allen, which was on his, to be fair, in his first match back in seven years, he wrestled a good match against Darby Allen, and he cut some more promos, cut some more promos, talked a little bit, wrestled a little bit on Rampage, and cut some more promos, and that's pretty much been it. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's only been a month. Just to be fair, it's only been a month, and you look at the numbers that CM Punk's return did on YouTube, especially on AEW's YouTube channel, millions, just to see his entrance, to see his first promo, just to see his first promo back on, on Dynamite. He's, he's putting up numbers on AEW's YouTube channel because the intrigue is still there. People are still excited to see CM Punk, clearly, right? I mean, anytime you come out and people are crying, you, you, there's still some investment there, right? Like people still care about CM Punk. And the main topic of this video is, are you tired of CM Punk yet? I, I did, it, did um, I cut the little clip in, in, the, in the intro of the video asking, or CM Punk's asking, I, are you guys tired of this yet? And he said in other promos, I know that there's gonna come a point in time where people are gonna get tired of this. And of course, we're still in the honeymoon phase, where it's like, dude, it's CM Punk, he's back in wrestling. But I know for a lot of people, I've heard, I've seen the word stale thrown around. I've seen underwhelming thrown around. Like people are excited for CM Punk's return, but it's like, okay, besides cutting promos and wrestling a match or two here on Rampage, what else are you gonna do? I mean, there's gotta be something more to it. I mean, I know that there's long term storytelling going on, or whatever the case may be, but there's gotta be a little bit more to it than CM Punk cuts a promo. Tad starts talking, he cuts a promo on Powerhouse Hobbs, he wrestled Powerhouse Hobbs on, on Rampage. Um, he cuts a promo, then here comes Matt Seidel, so now he, he and Matt Seidel are wrestling on Rampage, he's wrestling Danny Garcia on Rampage. It's gotta be something more to it. Um, the vibe I'm getting from CM Punk's res initial return it's kind of that feeling I got when Steam made his return. Now, when Steam made his return and first showed up in AEW, it was crazy because that was totally unexpected. It was a huge surprise. I can speak for myself when I say I didn't see that coming at all. Because it's Sting. Like you got Sting 
in AEW, and then on top of that, he's on TNT, which was the channel of WCW for so long. So you have that factor in as well. And then what happened? You had Sting come back, and then it would be like, all right, so we got Sting. You're gonna hear from Sting. Sting will come out, he'll cut a promo, and that will be it. Then next week we roll around. All right, we're gonna hear from Sting. Sting will come out, he'll cut a promo, and that's it. Now eventually it evolved in him, into him, you know, kind of linking up with Darby Allen and they wrestled the men of the year and they will have matches here and there. So it kind of grew from that. But the, the initial sting reaction that happened um, earlier, is kind of the vibe I'm getting with CM Punk. Like I said, he comes out, cuts a promo, wrestles on Rampage, rinse and repeat. So there's gotta be more to it. I mean, I know that you gotta have something more under your sleeve, but there's gotta be a little bit more to it. I'm not, me personally, I'm not at the point where I'm bored yet or I'm feeling like, okay, this is stale, but I'm kind of at the point where I feel like there's got to be a little bit more to it. I'm not tired of CM Punk yet. Me personally, I know that's the title of the video. That's in the thumbnail. Answering my question, I'm not tired of CM Punk, but are you guys like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below how you think. What what, what do you think about CM Punk's return so far? Are you ex are you still, do you still have that level of excitement you had when you first came out to Cult of Personality on, in Chicago at, um, on, 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 in AEW? Like, do you, is that fire still there? Are, is that excitement still there? Let me know in the comment section below. Are you tired of CM Punk? Do you think he's still? Or are you just kind of like a person that just doesn't really care for CM Punk, that you don't really like CM Punk? You don't like whatever? Let me know in the comment section below, man. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe. Take care, be easy, I'm out, peace.